You see the full spectrum of research at Cornell. We're interested in how cells maintain the integrity of the genome. I study T-cell signaling in a disease model of hypersensitivity pneumonitis. We study pregnancy-induced hypertension. I work on a set of proteins that undergo membrane fusion. I was able to be the immunology guy that's playing around with the biomedical engineers. You can really go and branch and spread as the science leads you. This is what we do. This is our passion and we love it. The BBS graduate program is what we call an umbrella program. A group of graduate fields or programs that work together to provide a multidisciplinary approach to questions in biology and biomedical sciences. We've tried to create an environment where, which is extremely exciting for students to discover biology. When you become a graduate student, you rotate through three different laboratories. They can be very diverse laboratories, um, or they can be all on, in, say, infectious disease. It's up to the student. The lab that I'm in right now is engineering. So because it's an umbrella program, it's a great way to explore different areas that you, normally you wouldn't get to explore. The main focus of this program is really to give students the academic freedom um, to choose the research area that they really want to specialize in. And that includes not just here on this campus in, in, in Ithaca, but also includes Wild Cornell Medical College in New York City. Cornell has a veterinary college and a medical school, and we like to work together. To be able to connect all of these dots, have basic research, clinical veterinary research, and clinical human research really puts us in a unique position to do a lot of powerful science. When I came here for the interview, that, that feeling of connection, that was just basically all I could think about when I was making that choice between schools. I have just been blown away at how um, approachable all the faculty are here, how friendly they are. I have great colleagues. They're very collaborative, uh, very giving in terms of their ideas and critiques of your work, and always willing to get together and talk science. They all just are interested in helping me succeed, and that's what I really like about it. I have set up the lab really focusing on student training. The laboratories here are largely uh, graduate student driven, and the emphasis really is on graduate education and, and mentoring and supporting our students. The students are a talented bunch. They're very bright, they're highly motivated. They come not only wanting to do basic science, but really wanting to make a difference. You have students from all over the world here that are engaged in research, so what you want to do is make sure that you know, you're right up there with them. And these are the best students from wherever they're from. The next frontier in research is going to be trying to meld ideas from different areas of study. We work with pathologists in biomedical science. We have collaborations down campus in engineering. We work on viruses. We work with people who do more um, like crystal structure, protein structure. We think what we do is the coolest thing ever. But I think that looking, stepping outside of the box is really, really important. Where the impacts come is not so much zeroed in on an individual field, it's at the edges. There's so many people doing neat things in different areas, and the really big thing that separates Cornell, I think, from other places is how well everyone collaborates together and works together. You've got veterinary medicine combined with human medicine, combined with extraordinary research facilities, basic sciences, clinical sciences, translational life science research. The level of science that we do is cutting edge. It's really, it's quite extraordinary. You have the opportunity to figure things out that nobody else has ever figured out before. That's what Cornell is about. It's, it's about doing work that'll affect change and, and make the world a better place.